intense shock and sadness in Sacramento as a community mourns the deaths of six people killed in a mass shooting. What we're learning about the suspects and the victims. Evidence of atrocities in Ukraine as mass graves are uncovered. President Biden calling for a war crimes trial, pointing the blame at Russia's President Putin. A burglar picks the wrong target during a break-in. The homeowner confronts the crew and sends at least one of the suspects to the hospital. The exclusive details. And we'll take you inside the dirty drug labs across the border, responsible for the rise in fentanyl deaths here in Southern California. Now on the News at 10. Good evening, I'm Michael. Mm -hmm. And I'm Sheriff mm -hmm. Calvin. Sacramento's entertainment district erupts in screams and gunfire as at least two shooters open fire on a crowded sidewalk, killing six people. The city is still reeling from the heartbreak and horror as police announce their first arrest. Pedro Rivera live in the KTLA News Center with the latest on the victims, the suspect, and the investigation. Pedro. Yeah, Mike, uh, Cheryl, like you guys just mentioned, Sacramento police have made their first arrest in the deadly shooting that has rocked the state capitol. 26-year-old DeAndre Martin is in custody on assault and firearm charges, but not homicide charges. In less than a month and a half, Sacramento has seen two mass shootings, but the latest tragedy happening right in the heart of downtown Sacramento. I want to show you a map here.